All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to part six of Rowe Empire 2 High Voltage DLC Scenario 2, which is called Power to the People. Now, in the last episode we got up here, we set up a passenger line from Lausanne. We put in another station in Lausanne up here to Freiburg, and then we set up passenger lines Buell to Freiburg. Neuchâtel to Freiburg and Beal to Neuchâtel and that meant that all three of these cities could indeed go to Lausanne which also meant that Lausanne passengers could go there through Freiburg and that way we would have more passengers running up to Freiburg and we were able to finish off that task pretty quickly no no sorry this task right here very quickly and we'd already done this as soon as we had got this new set of tasks. And we did this almost instantly because we just bought the entire company. So now our task is to construct a library in Neuchâtel. So what we did for that is really focus getting all the uh, main raw materials directly to Neuchâtel. So we got, we've got logs running in. We've got pears. We've got sugar and vegetables. We even went down here and got milk running over this way. And we've got grain from up here. We've also already pre-set up a wool delivery. So our intent is as soon as this hits 40,000, let's let it run, 40,000, we will put uh, in a textile here. We've already got um, fondue up here in Beal. We have a line running out of this Lausanne station up to Beal and back carrying freight so that it can take um, mountain cheese up here to be able to for that fondue which is set up to run to Neuchâtel and Neuchâtel um, we've got a line directly from Lausanne for freight so that we can get the mountain cheese up to Neuchâtel and we're, what we're doing is just anticipating everything that it's going to need so that it can, we can grow it as quickly as possible. There's even clothing here. Yeah, there's even clothing here in Freiburg. And we've set up a freight line here. And then once we had this going, we made sure we put a warehouse here. And you can see it's getting some good, good, some good goods in it. <laughs> and that means that the freight lines running back and forth, like Bill and Neuchâtel, can start uh, sending raw materials, as well as manufactured goods like beer, to Bill and over here to Freiburg. Now, we haven't put Buell in that setup because it doesn't actually have anything we're interested in right now. So it can just keep doing passengers for now. So what are we getting here? We're getting still getting growth at Neon and Vivi and Igel. Lausanne has kind of stalled on us at 111,000. I would like to get it a little bit bigger. You always want them bigger. Um, the dried meat, I wonder if we are making enough dried meat. Uh, we, well, we should be. Uh, we're not getting enough salt, certainly. Our demand for salt in Lausanne now is is way up because of the dried meat business. And what is this? We've got a lot of sugar here that needs to go somewhere to Eigel. How could that be? Um, I wonder if we've goofed a line here. I wonder if I've got the line going to Eigel that actually carries... Yeah, this one here. Is it carrying... Uh, I think I don't like how this one's set up. Let's see. Yeah, this is one of the first ones we did. This is a bad way to do it. Okay, let me show you a good way to do it. And when I say it, what we want to do is carry our manufactured goods, but not our raw materials. So came up with a way of doing it like this, which I like a lot better. We just say, don't take these. Do take your manufactured goods right and then when you get down here to Igel it's the same thing we don't we're not dealing in raw materials with these lines and I'll, I'll go back and explain this what that means we just want you if you have any manufactured goods bring them back now the deal is that what we've got a daisy chain set up here so we have matching warehouses in every city and we have raw materials coming in at the nearest city to feed the system and the idea is that any raw material comes into any station it can feed all five of the cities because you'll have a line running from Lausanne 
to Neon that will carry stuff this way and a line from Neon to Geneva that will carry stuff like this and same thing going this way here to here here to here and then what we do need are some lines that skip right we need a line from Lausanne to Geneva to get manufactured goods all the way down here since we don't have a warehouse set up for the manufactured goods so that's all well and good, except that if we now start saying, okay, like that one we just saw, if Lausanne is going to be able to skip Vivi and go directly to Eigel, then that creates the anticipation that I can carry sugar back and forth on these lines, and we don't want that. So our skip lines, if you will, the ones that are going not to the stations directly next to them, but to the ones past it, those are, are, we tried to set all those up to be just the, um, I'm sorry, I, I got to look at that again, just the um, uh, manufactured goods and don't take the, the uh, uh, raw materials. And I think I have managed to not do a thing with this after all that talk. So we don't want you, if you're going to Zon to Eigel, that's a skip line, so to speak. We want you to just take, whoops, just take whatever you manufacture. And the beauty of this is, as we add new manufactured items, we don't have to change anything. It'll just show up here as another thing that can be carried. So let's go to the next one and say, don't, 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 don't. And we don't have to prioritize it, just say do. <laughs> That's it. Confirm that line. Okay. Now that should help clear some of that up. And um, we, I mean, we could look at this and see if we've got them all correct. Um, Lausanne to Eigel is one we just did. Geneva would be another example. So Geneva, yeah, this is this is how we want it. We want raw materials turned off and we actually wanted raw materials turned off on oops on this end as well so don't take the six raw materials but take the stuff you make there we go all right now how many trains do we have on that just one train run another train okay uh let's see and we don't want we don't need to be messing around with this too much but it, you know it's, it, it's frustrating when you don't have something correct now you can see here just at the end of the last one Freiburg started to grow and um, that's just from having that connection to that new Chattel, uh freight station or uh, warehouse all right so we're good on that uh, we do want to watch this till it hits 30 so I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm just going to sit here and watch it until it hits 30 uh, sawmill and blatten uh, yeah we'll buy it I might want to mess with it later okay you see we're hitting a hundred percent now when we hit 30 we will almost instantly see milk start loading because we already have a train down there waiting to run full it's not doing anything yet but there's a dedicated line running up to New Chattel and as soon as we hit 30 we'll see this will come up with like eight on its way it's what it should ha what should happen that's the plan and I'm just watching it so I can put an immigration office in here as soon as it hits 30,000 which is pretty soon There we go, and we will put an immigration office in New Chattel. That'll make it grow faster. And can we put one here? Oh yeah, sure. We should have could have done that already. Although the growing this city is not <laughs> a core task. Okay. How about you? How big are you? This is probably small. Yeah, it's ten thousand. Very small. Very small little town. And this guy here is the freight to freight here, and it's just not carrying anything. And let me just see if I have this right. 
Yeah, it's going to the warehouse. It should be able to get anything in that warehouse. And is it just saying well, I don't need anything because I got everything? Yeah, it's kind of kind of in pretty good shape, isn't it? Oh, and you can see there even the uh, mountain cheese. It's got plenty of mountain cheese that came all the way down on Lausanne, and it's got more on the way. So it should have plenty of, uh, yeah, it's got six fondue to export. As soon as Neuchâtel hits the size where it wants fondue, boom, there, there, there they'll come. Immigration office, good. And we can see, yeah, here you can see milk on its way. Don't know why it's only one. Let me, let me check that. Uh, there's plenty here. That train. There's actually. Huh? Oh, it's got milk for Freiburg. It's got milk for Lausanne. It's got milk for Neuchâtel. It's actually shipping milk to to Lausanne via what? How in the world is it doing that? How? Oh, you know what? No. Yes, it's putting milk in this warehouse and then this line that's coming up uh, from over here, the freight line that's coming up to that warehouse, it's actually taking the milk back down here. But we need a ton of milk here, so I guess that's kind of all right. I really don't like that, though. That's... Uh, a bit of silliness and you're only bringing one milk up here and I'd much rather you brought you know more more almost to the point well I don't know I don't have any problem with sending them milk I don't have any problem with sending them milk eventually if they want it but I'm not crazy about that one now how many trains are we running on this if you're going to do that we're going to run some trains on that line Okay, here's, there, there, that's better. A bunch for New Chateau. That's what we really want. Okay. <laughs> Typical Attican solution to a problem, run more trains. Okay, so now we've got a whole bunch of milk on its way. And at 35000 the beer that you're already making. We, we got some construction. Now, how did we lose money? Uh, we went up. We went, oh, we actually lost money in passengers. Went up a little, up some in mail. <laughs> We're losing money on our production, which says, you know, maybe we need to go back and optimize, but I don't care. I'm more focused on... We're not running a total business. We're trying to make a lot of money to allow us to do the task quickly. That's our goal. has nothing to do with, you know, running a nice, nicely lined up, everything optimized business. That's not, that's not our goal. Our goal is to, is to, you know, do our task. All right. But having said that, I want to go play down here. We've got three cities. They all actually have pretty nice industries, meat, beer, and uh, cloth here in the, whatever region this is. And what we're going to do is buy the meat industry It only costs us 624 because of the auction. Then we're going to buy the brewery. We're bidding 1.2 million. We're going to get 40% off. Well, it only costs us 657. They're giving them away. And we're going to go buy this guy here, the textiles. It should cost us much more than 500 grand. 525, okay, good deal. All right, so we own those industries. Now, why'd we do that? Well, because naturally, because we don't want them. I mean, why else would you do such a thing? All right, so what we want to do is we've got iron ore, we've got coal, and we've got clay. So I'm thinking we have a steel mill in one of these, maybe here. We have a chemical plant in one of them, maybe here, and 
Uh, we could, I guess we could go immediately for pottery, maybe down here. And then as they grow, and, oh, and then over here in Geneva, there's this uh, fashion industry that we should be able to buy fairly cheaply. Let's, fair being a relative term, should be about 1.4. 1.2 million. Okay, that's not. Uh, yeah, they did give it away. All right, so we want to. We're going to blow that up and put something else in there. I think something that uses the steel, like a um, uh, uh, pocket knives. We'll make pocket knives in Geneva. Um, so we could make a pocket knife industry, and then we could check all the other industries here and see if they're. Oh, and there's a spot here. Ugh. Ugh. Now, oh, okay. Now we got coal here, and there's actually clay here. Let's let's change the plans. Let's do ceramics right here. Uh, ceramics, okay. Ceramics in Eigel, and let's bump it up, whatever it'll allow us to do, which will be a level three. So we're going to need four clay coming in, and the clay is up here. Uh, we're going to have to just fall off. I think I'm just going to point it down through there and let it fall off. Give it repairs. And, and let's go check the research. I don't remember what we were doing. Oh, yes, we just got in this train. So we're going to come back here and, well, what's this? Processing. Uh, oh, I think less maintenance time would be lovely all right now let's see if we can fall off this ah. mm. how many times am i going to do that stop that all right we need to get this view and we need to start our station kind of in line you know parallel to the to the contour lines i need to just bite the bullet and realize that's what you got to do now now we're going to fall down down the whoops fall down the mountain as fast as it will let us which may actually cause us to come in on this side and that's perfectly fine in fact i'm not even going to look at it anymore that's perfectly fine okay and we'll go here click here and okay and put a switches at this end and let's do those signals again just to make sure they're good for the way it's now set up there we go beautiful and we'll go run clay down down here I think it needs four clay, so we'll see how long this one takes. Uh, seven days, four into fifty-six would be four. Yeah, actually, that that's fine. That's fast enough. Now we can run some clay from over or uh, coal over from over here. Uh, let's think about. Let's situate our coal station like here, and we'll probably, um, well, we will be using it uh, again uh, for um, the steel mill, and then we'll be, uh, I think, I think I, I'm trying to recall if there's something else that needs it. I couldn't swear to it. I think there is. Uh, we'll just run it into a tunnel and come out like this. And I'll tell you what, we'll just, we'll make the point-to-point -point connection, have a dedicated platform. And if we, the next thing we do, we'll see how we want to, how we want to set that one up. But this guy here will be run full to that freight station. From track one, 
uh, 19 days. I think it needs a four, 40, it needs a couple of trains. Two would be 10 times four is 40. Okay, good, that'll work. All right, so, and we should already have the line set up city to city so that when we make the ceramics, the cities that want it, which would be for now, it would be here and here. Geneva and Lausanne would like to have the pottery. The other cities aren't big enough yet. Another customer we could have, I mean, if we really wanted to, I mean, we could run some back. I don't do a lot of this, and maybe I should think about it. Brig would like to have some pottery. You know, it wouldn't, wouldn't mind a bit. Uh, actually, we could just run it right off this line, right through there, right down, and into Brig. Eh, why not? Um, let's do a line that runs from the freight station here to Brig. And we'll call it in a, a, a freight line. And we will uh, tell it that we're not interested in, in exchanging raw materials. But if you got some manufactured goods for us, sure. Same thing here. We'll keep that local. And if you got some manufactured goods they can use, fine. Go for it. And go and yeah, we'll buy that too. <laughs> okay, that's up here. Now what's happening is we've got these planks that are that don't get anything, but we actually can fix the problem and make make money ourselves by just going in here like this. And down, uh, setting up repairs here, and running a line that goes into Blatten like that. Beautiful. And we'll do kind of our fake double track. and some Jan Jansons and then we can go here to here and we can forget that and, and put in switches on the back end sorry 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 whoa slow down whoa okay <laughs> let's try it again here to here run full out of track one freight line it's plenty fast enough and what will happen now is we'll make money on this and uh, we'll, well we should be making money on this you can see in fact we're already shipping some off so we're, are we making money on it we should be oh it's not ours I could have sworn that was ours oh, that's the weaving mill sorry yeah this is ours oh we've got it up to a level six Six would be we're not frequency of nine. And this one's of like a four and a half, so it's good. So we'll get an, even get a connection bonus for making more money. All right, well, sounds good to me. Uh, Thirty-four. Okay, you're doing fine. Um, oh, okay. Now, what do we want to do? I'm thinking. What we want to do is get, I believe, we, I mean, we do what we want, but beer, meat, and mountain cheese. Now, Lausanne has plenty of both of those, right? How about Geneva and beer? Zero. All right. Why zero? Okay, these, these are the mess-ups that just drive you nuts. Uh, if we go to Lausanne... The warehouse here has all this that wants to go to Geneva. I'm going I'm to kill that 
in fact, I'm going to kill all these with problems. Sorry about that. And put them back. I think we fixed our... Um, I think we fixed the lines. So... They should start running again and bringing stuff in. Okay, Lazan is up to 120,000 now. Good, good. You're approaching 40. Well, we'll have to keep an eye out for 40,000. Now, <laughs> back down here. I keep wanting to do something, and there's too much other stuff. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll set up a station. Oh, uh, there's a lot of ways we could do. Uh, even the basic idea I have could still be done many, many different ways. But here's what we'll do. We'll set up a station in Messery. And we're going to put a warehouse in Messery. And in that warehouse, we're going to take some unusual things. We're going to take meat, beer, mountain cheese. And then we're going to take... Let me think about what are we going to make down here. We're going to make... We're going to make steel, but we don't need that. We could make these, but we won't. Oh, we will need steel. Okay. We will need... Okay, we, mo we just moved the ceramics, so we don't have to worry about that. We will make chemicals. And... Maybe... Tin foil, I think. Maybe. Okay. Then what we're going to do is go over here to Neon and put in a station. Why can't we put one in there? There's only two stations in the other. And I want to put one. You must first connect. Oh, 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 sorry. We built a station over here. It's not connected to our network, right? So we can't go to a second city and build one until we have this connected. So um, yeah, for now, I'm going to connect it like that. And that's probably going to be a throwaway. But we're going to put a station in... Neon like that, and it's going to be Neon Freight uh, East. Okay, and it's going to have we'll give it maintenance and a warehouse, and it's going to have those three we picked over at the other side. It's going to have beer, meat. Mountain cheese. Hopefully, I can remember what they were. Uh, steel. Not knives. Uh, not ceramic. Chemicals. And tin foil. Okay. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is take this. I'm going to blow that up and start over. And what I want to do is connect this. Whoops. This station to that station like that okay and double track it and put switches on it and signals okay then we want to go down here to uh, Geneva. Oh, and Geneva has been blocked uh, because it's hit 100,000. So in Geneva, we will put in a university. There we go. Now it can start growing again. And we're going to put a, a station here. And it really doesn't need anything. We'll give it repairs just for the sake of it. And we'll run a line from it to, uh, let's, get, let's get a super highway for goodness sake. We'll run a line like this. 
a nice super highway of track. Ah. Uh, up like this and into here. And that's wrong. Okay. Up like this and into here. And then come off and go back down here like so. And we've got switches on both ends. We'll put signals throughout. Okay. Good deal. <sighs> okay. So now I want to go to uh, tones or thones or however you say this and I want to put I want to put uh, well, that's it that's all I want to put right now now we, now we want to run track All the way, quite the little line, all the way over here. And I think that's the right socket. Left to left, yes, that's correct. Build that, double track it. Now, <clears throat> we're going to set up a line from here to here, automatic, and we're going to run, see, 24 trains. Okay, so we're going to have automatic line, it'll take passenger to the mail and whatever, to hit from here to here, and then we're going to do a line here in Passy or station I'm sorry that is same kind of thing it's going to go uh, two places it's going to go um, it'll go ouch 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 uh, we, we might just have it go right here. Okay, that's the right side to the right side. Okay, and then back. like that switches and signals okay and then somehow some way it needs to go up here and this is really ugly I mean, we could have it come yeah we could do that I guess uh, let's go out like this and get kind of off that off the hill like this yeah and then maybe make a kind of a beeline for it over this way like that oh that's 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 just like grossly ugly and I mean it's, I don't I kind of don't care I'm, I'm fine with spending that money if we have to uh, all right, and this big giant tunnel. I mean, I I, I I know we could do it, but I just I just can't see it. I just hard for me to look at that and justify building that big a tunnel. 
when we can do that instead. Same thing there, just give going slightly longer and you don't have a tunnel. This I think is okay. I don't, I don't see, we don't want to be shooting into that. So this would be the top side to the top side that would be correct. And then we'll go like that. And we have uh, switches on both ends, so we'll put signals. All right. And let's have an automatic line from here to here. And let's have an automatic line, I think maybe from here to here. And we'll, just, we'll just run four trains on it. And then what we'll do is we'll have an automatic line from here to here with, uh, we'll put a couple trains on that. And then an automatic line from here to here, which is going to be freight. Had a couple of trains on it, and <clears throat> then we'll say this is our okay. This is going to be our steel mill. So we're going to take this brewery and blow it up and put in a steel mill. Then this is going to be our knives. I think. No, no, no. Then. Um, this dress factory over here, fashion industry, we're going to blow that up, replace it with uh, the uh, pocket knives. So we'll make pocket knives in Geneva. And we're going to level them up. And I could probably go get some more money. Oh, and, oh, and we need to watch. Uh, where are you? It's at 36.7. We'll, we'll uh, hmm. Eight, 18 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to only be paying off two of these at a time. Let's, 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 let's pay that one off. It'll just take a minute. And then we'll get a really big one. All right, let's let's uh, close this one, and then open a big one. There we go. Now we got a little bit of money to play with, and we'll go here to pocket knives and bump it up to a, a four, I think. Now it need, it's going to need more wood. We added a demand for three and a half but this is a nice short line but we'll add a train to it anyway and then that's going to give us the opportunity to take steel down here and over here and over here to make pocket knives to distribute among the, the citizenry and then what we want to do is get Lausanne our biggest city playing in this game uh, somehow Oh, we already have three. We already have three stations in Lausanne. That's okay. We'll just use this. We'll just use the uh, passenger station and just use a couple of um, platforms from it and run them down here to that freight station. Double track that. Set this up and do a double wide here okay give it signals and what we'll do now is run a couple couple trains from Lausanne 
passenger down here to this freight station. And we can do freight lines because we don't want to be stripping away our, our beautiful uh, passenger traffic from the ones that get the bonuses. Let's do a couple, of, let's do three trains on that. And let's see what they do. They should like carry meat and stuff like that. I'll, I'll take that, whatever it is. There we go. There goes meat. And it is for Neon. It's all for Neon. Oh, oh, because we don't have that skip, the skip line, maybe. I don't know. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's useful. But we've got other other stuff we want. Now, number two is taking, again, meat for Neon. How in, the, how in the world are you getting along without any meat? Well, that's weird. All right, I want, <laughs> again, I want to see if this works. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh boy. Uh, give him another train. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Let's go back up here. Let's get back on track for a second. Oh, oh I'm glad I did. It's time. We can put in textiles. I hope I didn't blow this too badly. Oh, no, no, not too bad. She could have been done sooner. This right here, there we go. See him starting to load. He's immediately bringing uh, stuff for these textiles. And we're almost done with this task. Uh, Blackwell, no, who you. cares? The blackmailer tried to turn their threat into reality, but was caught in time by your security personnel. Okay, so we're already making the textiles in advance of the city needing them, right? And, it, and they're getting a good supply of everything else. The cheese is a little, a little slow. It only has eight. Uh, what's going on here? Did we not bump this up? We did. Coal and clay. Coal, it's got plenty. Clay, it's got some more coming. Okay, we had a decent quarter. Doesn't matter. All right, let, let's just baby. Sorry, I'm gonna have to just babysit. We'll see what happens here. And what in the world? Uh oh, what have I done? Uh, look at this. Look, look at what Dummy did or didn't do. Get everything moving. There we go. And back here, as soon as it hits 50, we'll put it in a library and we'll be done with that task. And we'll come back down to this in a minute and, and straighten it all out. We're almost there. Almost there. Next tick. There we go. We will go city buildings, library, in Neuchâtel. And task done. Another big city has grown even bigger as a result of railway electrification. And not only that, with this establishment, we've provided for more quality of life and new perspectives. Our hard work is slowly starting to pay off. The better part of the Swiss railway network has been electrified, and despite the high maintenance costs, this venture has indeed proven to be profitable. The biggest challenge yet awaits us. First off, the Federal Railway Administration demands we close the gaps and electrify our rails where they are not. 
Then there's the matter of our competitor. We have to eliminate them once and for all in order to gain access to the capital plus surrounding areas. There's no turning back now. Let's do this. It's good that we took the time to close off the gaps in our electrified route network. Switzerland now has the longest electric railroad line, not just in Europe, but in the whole world. We finally got rid of our pesky competition. Now, nobody will stand in our way. And their steam locomotives will look much better in a museum where they belong. Okay. Usually when you get a lot of those, that means we've got new tasks and we've already done some. So let's just see what happened. So we finished off. What did we finish? Oh. oh, we got a lot of it done. We finished off this one. So we got opened up here. We, we now see our finale, it says, and our optional tasks. So they wanted 400,000 400, citizens in VOT, and we've already got that. And we need to connect some more cities. We need, what do we need? About 300,000 people, and we're looking really good for that. Uh, we need to do your classic 300 passengers, thumb to burn. We need to buy him out completely, which we've already done. We need to grow burn a lot. So we need to grow this Bern, Bergdorf, Langenthal, Shangnau, uh -oh, and Thun region. And again, those of you who live here, don't, don't bother correcting me. Okay? It's just it's the way I say them. Uh, please don't be offended. Okay, so uh, grow this. Connect a bunch of cities. We'll do that real fast. We, we may do that right now just to be done. We got a lot of money. And that might even help with some of this. So let's, let's, let's just look at our map and see what we can and cannot do here. Like, for example, can, are we allowed in here? We are. We're going, we're going to buy this. Then we should be able to take... Now, now I know that there's already connections here, but we're going to... Uh, I don't care. I'm going to... There we go. We're going to merge with that with his company. And we're going to go here and we're going to liquidate everything. There we go. Now, that, that's a much better looking area. And now, how many cities? There's one, two, one, two, three up here. One down here and some more up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have to connect to all of them but one, basically. Now, what is that? Gestad. It's back here. It's hiding in the mountains. We could run a line to Vivi, I guess. Let's run... Uh, let, let's do hook it in. Let's, let's go Gestad. Collision with another building. All right, we'll go Gestad. Um, repairs and a post office or something like that. And then we'll go fall off the mountain. Keep falling. Maybe in here like this. Maybe, maybe to um, Eigel. might be easier I mean we could run it either both ways but I, yeah. and if we're going to connect it we might as well run some trains so let's just go up here uh, we don't even need uh, can we connect that no uh oh plan to oh wait let's come off this side we'll make it to to We'll come down here like this, build that, then we'll disconnect that and kill that. Now, you come down and get, actually, let's run it to the passenger station. Yeah, it's so easy now. You can go across tracks like that. Beautiful. Well, I, and I'm going to reset this track right here to get rid of. No, the other way. <laughs> Get rid of any 
short block problem. Reset this track right here to get rid of a short block problem. And go like this and do track like that. Now, having done that, what does this passenger station, restaurant post office, okay. We were put repairs up at the other end, so let's go with a line that goes from Eigel. Ah, crap. We know what I've left out. Don't. Oh, wait. Got the wrong. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got the wrong platform here. I skipped one. Didn't mean to. That's better. Let's put what we're missing, which is this gridiron. It's not recognizing this track. Let's start this over. This was an abomination from the beginning. All right, let's run track down. Fall off the mountain. Fall off the mountain. Come down here. Continue to fall off the mountain. And fall right down into... Hopefully we can do this. Come on, baby. You can you can do it. There we go. Maybe that might work. Okay, now we'll come off the other side. And this might connect over here. Yes, it will. Beautiful. All right. Let's give give you up switches. Give you signals. And come down here and look at our lines and actually it all looks pretty good. It looks good for short blocks in, in that kind of nonsense. So we can run a, a, a passenger line up the mountain to Gestad. Express. Run three trains on it and just make some more money. All right, even if it is a small town. Now, uh, that probably puts us at 19, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. We need seven more. And closest one is Burn. And Burn, we're gonna do some big building. Let's do it from Fry, Fryborg to Burn. And let's set up a, first of all, let's do our passenger station. And what does Freiburg passenger look like? It is maintenance and post office. So burn can be burn can be next episode. We've uh, kind of come to the end of this one. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire 2 video. Thank you.